Yes guys, and welcome back to another episode on our restoration project of the Volkswagen T4. If you are new around here, we are the Travel Joe, and this is Fletcher. We live on the road and travel full time in our camper van Olive where we have spent the past 20 months traveling around the UK and Europe. Right now, we are back where it all started in Tavistock, where we built our home on wheels in 2021, and now we have a new project. This was not planned. But this old Volkswagen Transporter Razorback has been sat wasting away in Chris's family's workshop for the past seven years, when suddenly he was told it was heading for the scrapyard. No Volkswagen Transporter belongs in the scrapyard, so with Chris's burning desire to create something new, our adventures on the road has taken a pause whilst we try and get this girl ready for a new life. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You know me though guys, I'm not gonna give up. Completely conked out. We hope you will join us on this journey as we test our restoration skills and patience to the limits. We have an absolutely glorious day outside. I'm just jumping into my overall getting the van ready to pull forward because I need to do a bit of welding this morning just to get it all ready to pass the MOT. There's a big hole in the step, a couple of other bits on the outside that I just need to weld up where there was holes. And yeah, once that's done, we'll be able to move on to the next stage of it. So let's get this welding done. Just tacked the first one into place. Nice bit of folded up metal. I've only tacked it in for a minute. Excuse my uh, bandana on my head. It's just what I wear when I've uh, got the welding helmet on. It just uh, saves pulling my hair and my hair getting caught and all that. But yeah, so that's one done. I've got another two, maybe three to do. Probably actually looks like it's gonna be three. Looking at this one in here as well. That's definitely gonna have to be done. So. I got that to do as well, and then this one, and this one. Luckily, it is a beautiful sunny day to be doing it in. Hey guys, Chris is cracking on with this van, but I am here. I'm just behind the scenes, busy behind the laptop. At this point, there's not an awful lot I can do. So I'm just watching Chris smash it and being his biggest supporter and taking him lots of coffees. So I'm gonna go and take this one for him and I'll see you guys later on. So this is the under seal I have got. It's the hammer oil under seal with added wax oil. This is what I will be actually doing the whole of the under the bus in. Once I've cleaned off all the rust, knocked off any loose rust and things like that, I will be whacking this stuff on there. But for now, I'm just gonna put it on my weldment where I've got it on the corner of the step because it will be right by the wheel. So it's gonna need this nice thick uh, sealant just to stop any further corrosion to the wheel. I haven't opened any of this yet so I'm not sure what it's going to be like. I imagine it's going to be like all gloopy and quite tough and then I'll be slapping it on. That is all of that done team. I have managed to do all the welding, all the sanding down and all the ceiling. I'm yet to actually do any painting that because I'm not sure what color we're gonna paint this bus, to be honest. So, any ideas? Leave it in the comments below, you know what to do. But the next job now will be actually to run that ceiling all the way under the whole of the van. So, 
yeah, get that treated and we can move forward with that. Still waiting on the bushes to come for the alternator. Fingers crossed, that works. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning again, squad. This morning, we've had a delivery. This is the part for the alternator, so I'll be able to get on with this Not right now. I've just literally quickly whipped the alternator off while it's dry. So I'm gonna take this one and then strip it down, put the new regulator, put the new bushes on, and let's keep our fingers crossed. That is that problem fixed. You having a cuddle too? You having a cuddle too? Oh, good boy. With you I feel something Cause we're both so unashamed We're not playing any Playing any game Alinator is fitted It's now time to try it Oh my god, I'm so pleased that was a nice cheap fix. Booyah! 4.3 volts! It's delivery day! In here should be our pads, our anti rolling bushes, and our discs. So yeah, let's get it open, let's have a look. Brake pads, and our new discs. Yep, baby! These ones are absolutely shot. One, they're really pitted across the face. They're really close to being worn down on the thickness. So I had to get some new ones. Look at the difference. How lush and clean are they? Oh, baby. Hey team, the sun has arrived, which is amazing because as you know, in last week's video, it got pretty wet and we had to deal with a lot of wet weather trying to keep this all dry after Chris decided to take the roof off and summer's here which means that I am just about to get a bucket of hot water and start scrubbing her because we did kind of clean up the front but she's still absolutely disgusting in so many areas so I just think whilst Chris is stripping back the brakes and sorting all that. I'm gonna make her look pretty because she still looks very sad in areas. And I think once I've done that, she'll look a million dollars. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments, by the way, on our videos. It's so nice to see that so many of you are invested in this new project of ours and you're loving watching Chris show off all of his skills of just basically conquering any challenge that comes his way. And as you know, I was very unsure about this project when it started, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really loving it. I just love seeing him so happy and invested in something. And the more we get her spanky clean, the more I fall in love with her. And I'm just so happy that she's not going to the scrapyard anymore. So let's gonna get some water and give her a bit of a scrub. I am really excited to see what this looks like. Once I scrub it, it's gonna be so satisfying. Oh my God. <laughs> you poor thing. You've just been left to rot. But it's okay. The travel duo have got you. You're gonna have a new life. What are you doing? I'm removing the anti-roll bar, linkish bush, something like that, whatever it's called. Um, I've managed to get the caliper holder off as well, which was two 21mm bolts. Proper rounded off heads, so I've just managed to get them out. So yeah, it's one of them. It's not been too productive today, as in like getting on with stuff, but slowly by slowly, we are getting there. Hey team! This uh, Wimmer needs some TLC too. I'm gonna spray these up. I'm gonna make them all nice and black again.
look at our already team. She's glowing. I've done all of the side, gone along the front. I'm not going to do too much on the other side because that's where Chris is working on the brakes. I think the one thing me and Chris are not going to agree on on this project is the colour. He's just saying he wants to paint this cab bit one colour and then have the pickup as another colour. No. Then he was saying he might want to leave it white. I think because she's got a little bit of rust areas and stuff, we're going to have to work on them. I think we should just give her a full makeover. We have got paint left over from Olive, so we could even paint her olive colours or we could go completely different. So we'll see, but if you've got any ideas, drop them in the comments below on what color you think she should be. Can you see this patch I've done on this side? Look at that. This side is the worst because I think it's the one that's been like out in the elements more. So she needs a good old scrub on this side. I don't know if you know this, but she's actually a white van. Yeah. She's white. <laughs> I promise you, that is the same van. Look! I mean, I need to get some fresh water and like clean her off a bit, but you can actually see her. Which is really good because we're now able to see like her little imperfections where we can filler her and sand her down. This is why I think it would be really useful to change the colour because we can really work on her bodywork and get her looking really smooth and then give her a nice lick of paint. But that is what she's meant to look like. She can breathe for the first time in about 15 years I reckon. I was just saying to Chris that it'd be really cool to start putting a little bit of a timeline on this really, a bit of a deadline because we are missing adventures on the road and this, as you know, was so unplanned. We didn't have this in our plans for 2023, that's for sure. We thought we'd be back over to Europe, but we definitely believe that things happen for a reason and we've been enjoying this restoration. We've been enjoying having a base and Tavistock for the last few weeks, join the gym, done things that we just can't normally do when we're moving around constantly but yeah I think we should maybe put a timeline on it and at the end of August there is a Volkswagen festival and I think it'd be really cool to get her done as much as possible before then and take her to the Volkswagen festival just to show her off um, you never know who we might meet people that might be interested in buying her and it'll just be really good for us to get some kind of feedback of what people think so yeah, I think we've only got a few weeks until then. But I think if we work hard enough, we might be able to take her to the festival and show her a good time. Now my job's done. How's yours coming along, babes? Yeah, really, really great. Yeah? No. Oh, what's up? Really being a bit of a pin to start the bunch. <sighs> Change your link arm bushes, yeah? Be easy. <sighs> At least I got the bolt in now. I couldn't even get the bolt in to start. I've greased it all up now, so just got to get it catching. You know me though, guys. I'm not going to give up. I won't give up till it's done. Good morning from a sunny Tavistock. How amazing that the sun is out. So it means we can get on with another productive day. Yesterday I sealed up all of the uh, passenger side wheel arch, put all the black sealing out on. So that side is now ready to be rebuilt. So it will be new discs, new pads. We're waiting for some caliper paint to arrive. We're gonna paint the calipers a really, really cool color. If you can have a guess, the van we think is going to be green or maybe half and half, whatever we actually decide. <laughs> what colour do you reckon we're going to paint the calipers? I have a colour in mind. I think Sam's got a colour in mind as well. But what colour would you guys do the calipers? Let us know in the comments. 
But yeah, are you ready for a productive day? I am. I've just realised now the sun's glistening on this van. On the door, you can just about see Goodrich. There must have been a sticker on the door saying Goodrich. Can you actually? Yeah, see if you can see it. Oh, yeah. BF Goodrich. Maybe we need to put some of them on it. Get a sponsor from them, Bolivar. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Guys, we all want your old vans here. Let's have it. Let's get a new disc on. Hey team, so I've actually just been for a yoga class. Like I said, making the most of having a base. Never done a yoga class before, but really enjoyed it. Chris wants me to go and have a little look at what he's done since I've been gone. And he said he's been down here. Oh my God. That looks epic. What's daddy done? What's he, you missed mommy? Oh, you missed me. <laughs> miss me. Good boy. Yeah, it looks amazing, babe. And the new brakes. They're so shiny. She's starting to take some shape. Did you miss me? Hey guys, another day on the van and I just want to say I am so proud of Chris this week. The graph that he has had to put into this vehicle is unbelievable and some days it might not look like he's done a lot but he has not stopped and on top of that he has had vehicles galore this week a little car that we use to run around has had some issues so he's been fixing that his brother's car has had some issues so he's been fixing that we've had some friends reach out because theirs has been playing up so he's been trying to help out with that and it's literally just been vehicles 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 we live in a vehicle as you know we live on the road and i feel like this week it's just i'm desperate to get away from vehicles <laughs> but he has worked so hard i have just suggested to him that we go out for some lunch some nice tapas because he's looking a little bit stressed he's looking tired and he has worked solidly so we're gonna go out enjoy some food and then later on we've got one more thing to show you which is just so exciting for this van let them know our exciting news our exciting news that I'm pretty sure the floor is now going to go up and down. For those of you guys that don't know, this van actually has a hydraulic floor. So the back of the van actually goes all the way down to the bottom. So you can drive on motorbikes, quad bikes, just easy to load up anything. And then this hydraulic system right here lifts the floor back up again by pumping hydraulic fluid all the way around to the four rams on each corner of the back of the pickup. But to, for that to work, I had to take this motor off, clean the connector. The aluminium was slowly degrading, but I managed to restore that, clean it all out, filled it up with some new hydraulic oil. Now it's time to see if the floor does go up and down there. I think I've done all the maintenance I need to here, but it's a moment of truth. We have a new battery in the van. Let's see if the floor goes up and down. Okay, so we needed to turn on the ignition to check to see if the hydraulic floor works because we don't want to ruin the new battery and the van won't start. It's like nothing. It's just completely conked out. So Chris is doing what Chris is best at and trying to figure out what's the issue. Not a Scooby. What do you reckon, babes? Um, to be completely honest, I'm not too sure. We've got a brand new battery. It has been turning over a lot of times. So it can only be a connection somewhere that's not either the earth's not earthing right or the live's not getting to the start motor. Something simple like that. But right now I just can't see it. So it's just going to be a case of messing around with a couple of wires, make sure the connections to the battery are solid on there, make sure the terminals are on tight. And yeah, that's all I can do for a minute. In the meantime, whilst Chris is trying to get it started, I've just found a piece of cardboard to make our big van list. So I thought it'd be really good to get down everything we need to do on the van and see if we can get it all ticked off before this Volkswagen Festival at the end of August. 
might be being really hopeful but i just think it'd be so good for us to write down what our plan is for this van what we still need to do on it and then we can have a bit of an idea of how long this is going to take no nothing You'll probably see a lot in these vlogs that Fletch is just the bestest, most patient, most loyal boy. Just sat there with us all day, waiting for us to finish. And then when we finish working on the van, we all go and snuggle in the van and he's so happy and he can sleep. Is that right, buddy? We love you. Go again. Nothing. It's time, buddy. Ready? Your magic touch. Ready? No. This is take twenty-three. Are you ready? No. <laughs> this is not funny. No. Guys, I can't do it to him anymore. Like I said to you earlier, he has had a long week with vehicles this week. That has been a long week, considering I'm not a bloody mechanic. It has been a long, long week, team. And we can't get us started. But I won't give up. I will actually get it started, I think. <laughs> We're going to leave it there team and we'll let you join us next week just to see what happens. We'll get her started, we'll get that floor moving and we'll get that big van list done, yeah? We will. We'll have it all done and dusted for you guys next week. What should our emoji be this week? Should it be the praying hands? Yes, <laughs> please guys, pray that it starts again. Please team. Pray for us. So yeah, yeah put the uh, little two hands together praying because that's what we need right now. We need some uh, hope and blessing and love sent our way. And if you haven't already, now would be the perfect time to subscribe to our channel, yeah. just to help support us, show us some love. Let's get her back on the road. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. See ya!